Hey, this is George G. Welcome to George G's Room of Rock. How's everyone doing out there today? Doing a little um, CD collection update. So, just got some things over the last couple weeks. And I uh, thought I'd show you what I got. If anyone cares. But <laughs> I'm going to show it to you anyway. I got, um, let's see, we got, I think I have nine here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, nine. Pretty sure there's nine. One, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, nine of them. Okay. All right, so let's go over what I got here. Put my peepers on. It's easier to see that way. All right, first one I got, which really isn't one I actually bought. Um, I actually found this one when my uh, cleaning out my father's house at father's house. Or my sister, after my my father, dad passed away. He had a whole bunch of CDs. He had stuff like stuff I didn't, and I don't, you know, some stuff we had, um, I had already, which was just like old soundtracks of like Superman and Star Wars and Rocky. But he had this one, and then I'm like, oh, that's an odd one from the have, because he wasn't really into that kind of, into really rock music, really. But I figured it out it must have been my mom's CD. He just kept it. But I always was going to get it. Not that I'm a big fan of the artist, but I do like some songs, so I, I grabbed it and just, you know, took it from him. It was Elton John's greatest hits. Again, like a lot of some of the stuff, this is really all I'm gonna need. But it's got your song, Daniel, Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road, Saturday Night's Not Right for Fighting, which I think um, Flotsam and Jasmine do a really nice job of covering that one. Uh, Rocket Man, Benny and the Jets, Candle in the Wind, Crocodile Rock. It's got all the classics on here from Elton John. So I thought, hey, one, I got an Elton John collection too. So that's one I just got from Dad's house. Now uh, the next one, the next three, I got three of the same band. <laughs> And these are also not a metal album. These are all classic rock. These next three, but it's a band I always liked, and I, I only had um, I think three, no two um, best ofs by them, by the band, and then a couple ones by the so, from a solo. Uh, the one guy who was in the band is the um, main songwriter. His solo material. I have a bunch of CDs from him. I never bought the albums from him. I never know why. But I bought three of them this time because they were fairly cheap. So, and the band is Queen is Clearwater Revival. So here's their debut. I always love John Fogarty. Love his uh, songwriting. Such a great band. I don't know why I haven't bought anything by him before, but I bought it this time. This one's got a, I Put a Spell on You, Susie Q, Porterville, Walk on the Water. So, yeah, good one. I'm glad I got this one. And the second one I got, their, their second album, Bayou Country. Another really good one here. This one's got Born on the Bayou, which I love Born on the Bayou. Um, Bootleg, Good Golly with Molly. Nice cover of the Chuck Berry song there. Penthouse Pauper, Proud Mary, of course, is on this one. So, yeah, good one there, too. And the last one I got was their fourth album, Willie and the Poor Boys, because I got it because I love the song Down in the Corner. It's probably one of my favorite songs ever by anybody. I don't know what, what about the song I really like, but I really love that song. So, anyway, so I picked up this one. It's got, like I said, Down in the Corner, Came Out of the Sky. Feeling Blue, Fortunate, Sun's on this one too. The Midnight Special, another great song. And a uh, nice long song called Effigy for them. Really good really good album. I like to get the other ones by them too. But yeah, I love that one. It was really good. Really good band. Gotta get some more. Okay, now we'll get to the metal here. And the first one is actually one I, I, I never had. I had um, a little compilation with just a couple songs from it. But I never bought the album. This one that's casually, um, is by is Possessed. So I got this one, the uh, Beyond the Gates, and this has the Eyes of Horror EP on this one, too. So, like I said, I haven't even listened to this one yet, but I do know some of the songs from it, March to Die, Beyond the Gates, and um, from the Eyes of Horror, I know uh, Confessions and Storm of My Mind. I know some of those songs from hearing them. But yeah, so I haven't even listened to the album yet, but I know it's a song. I'm looking forward to hearing it. Like, there's only one of these. Actually, I listened to all This is the only one I didn't listen to yet, but I wanted to show that I had it, though. So, you know, looking forward to that one. Uh, next one is kind of, um, I wasn't planning on getting this one, but oh, you know, I missed one. Oh, hold on. I missed one here. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, I'm professional, maybe, but it's okay. Makes the video a little longer, maybe. All right, but anyway, this one, um, it was a, kind of a blind buy. I, never, I was thinking of getting stuff by the band. I, I never got it before, and... And then I got listened to this album, like, wow, I don't know why I ever bought anything by, by them before, but DRI crossover. And, boy, I really like this one, so I'm really looking forward to some other ones. They're kind of hard to get. Some of them are kind of hard to get, but this one was really good and um, really fast, quick songs. I mean, you know the band. 
the five-year plan, tear down a coffin, decisions, hooked, go die. Um, great stuff. So really looking forward to getting some more stuff like DRI. So yes, that's what I got um, from them. It is the one I forgot on the shelf here, which I bought the same day. And uh, it's a reissue, but again, I didn't, I haven't got any of these. I only had like one of the original albums of these, this band. And, but I found it, not too bad a price. And it's Bathory, under the sign of Black Mark. And again, I, I have some of the songs from a, from a couple of compilations, but I didn't have the whole thing. But um, Massacre, you know, Call from the Grave, Enter the Eternal Fire, Great Song of Chariots of Fire, 13 Candles, Doom, great stuff, man. Great stuff. Love the album cover, too. So, yeah, so I got that. So I'm very happy to get that. Okay, now, one little death metal album here, which another blind, blind, blind. This was a couple songs I kind of liked it. And it reminds me a lot of uh, early death. And the band is Cancer. Terrible name. But really good band, really good album. Love it. Really had the, that death feel. Um, so Hung Drawn Quarters on this one. Um, Burning Casket. Death Shall Rise. Back from the Dead. This is also has a live, um, a live uh, CD on this one too. Got double this. So and then I get some more. Little cover too. Really great cover. I was looking forward to get some more about stuff by that band. So yeah, that was good. And I got two more. This one I just got, and um, it's the last one I needed. Other studio albums. Uh, I, don't have, I don't have their one. I guess it's kind of a, it's their live. Oh, it's their fake live album. But it's typo negative. World coming down. Now, this one is not one that people like. Too much. I mean, it's kind of in the bottom of the barrel for some people, but I really liked it. Um, I'm trying to get the song because the songs aren't listed on here, so I gotta remember the songs on here. But it's got a nice little fold out here with a little poster of the band here. You know, the album is pretty cool, little poster of the band here. But um, well, they have the album on here, but I really like the album. Um, White Slavery, World Coming Down, Everything Dies. And, uh, you know, all the songs I hear. Actually, I was really surprised how much I did like the album. Because I wasn't sure how to, what to make of it. Because, you know, like I said, I, didn't, yeah, yeah, I guess you could listen to some reviews and you're like, you don't know what people think. But I thought it was very good. So I was up, up, up pretty high on my list of the, the typo albums. So, yeah, so World Coming Down, got that one. And the funny thing is, I listen to it now, and it's really weird listening to it now. Because I, I just listen to, like, typo and that kind of stuff on, like, you know, Halloween, October time. And it felt weird listening to it in the springtime, like it didn't like belong, like it was just strange. That's not stupid, but it just you know, but still a great album. Anyway, and the last one I got to show is a band I've been hearing about forever from so many people, from and just as from Earl, for Earl, for uh, from Darcy Six Street and Nine Lives, all the people just praise the band and this album in particular, it's the newest one, and I finally got it, and that's Hell Ripper, Warlock's Grim, and Withered Hags, and I got to say they're it's really good. It's like death. Thrash, Black Metal, all Thrash, all to one. The guy with one man band. Amazing stuff, and it's just great, you know. Whole album's good. Warlock's Grim and the Withered Hags, this title track. Uh, the Curse Carrion Crown. Uh, good. Poison Womb. Like I said, I get a little more time with this one, but just the first couple of listens, it was really good. So, yeah, that's my uh, little quick little CD update. So, um, yeah, that's it. I hope someone enjoyed that. Um, like I said, I got some more stuff. I didn't, I just got it. I got to listen to it, too. But I want to show the, the possessed one because I didn't listen to it yet. But I want to show it in this collection because I got it a while ago. Anyway, that's it, guys. So, um, anyway, I hope you, you like this video. If you do, please like and subscribe. And uh, keep rocking metal alive. We'll see you next time.